Hello everyone and welcome back to Skyward Sword. This is episode 5 and today we're actually going to make some progress and actually not do story stuff or bizarre related stuff. We're going to do some actual going. Let's not listen to Fi and let's go into this green pillar of light. Go somewhere new for once instead of just doing the story for four episodes and the bizarre. And by the way, happy Zelda month. Master Rito, observe! The green pillar before you is a column of light. It marks the point at which you can descend to the surface. You can confirm your current location on the map. Please see where you are in relation to Skyloft. Got it. Okay, here we go. Jump off our bird. Let's go over Okay, that's not gonna work then. Fine. Okay, well apparently that that animation doesn't move you forward. Like at all. Okay, this is like scuffed. There we go. I forgot to pull up my sail cloth. It had to do it for me. Master Rito, we've arrived! Shut up, we don't want more story. The fabled surface. By my calculations, you are currently positioned in a location known as the Sealed Grounds. Some bad stuff happens here later. For shat- okay, I won't do that again. Okay, well let's move forward then. This music is pretty good. Oh no, it's a sideways guy. Just run right pat uh never mind. There we go, kill on the right way. Oh these guys give us rupees and we probably want those. Oh my gosh. Why is this? This should Finally! Oh my gosh! Your hearts have decreased quite dramatically. Replenish some of your life with the earliest opportunity. Yeah, I know, I know. I'm gonna die here. Too much link to the past to think the shield's gonna work automatically. Is there any grass here I can cut? Magically find some hearts? Okay, what do you gotta say to me? Master, I have information for you. The affirmation on items target with Z. Target with Z, press down, I'll give you a brief info on all things. Some hearts down there. Oh, here we go. Oh, <laughs> I couldn't get it. It's what a headache feels like, or migraine. 
red lightning on your head. Let's grab some of these hearts over here. Restore. Can I get some rupees, maybe? Okay, this game's being Breath of the Wild. Okay, we could check out what's up here. But, uh, I don't think there's really anything up here. Anyway, let's jump down here. And everyone knows that as long as you put out your, your sailcloth at one point, you won't take any damage. But you gotta pull it out once, and no matter how, fa how far you fall, you won't take fall damage. Breath of the Wild is stealing runes. It's just like distilled water. <laughs> and now we can get up easier. Necessary for the future. Master Rito, I'm sensing a change in the area that was triggered by your Skyward Strike. And I have also detected an aura that correlates closely to your stair cloth. I surmise this area belongs to Zelda. I can lead you in the direction of this aura through a process called dousing. Would you like me to explain this process to you? Please. As you wish, Master. Dousing is when I detect the presence of the aura of something you wish to search for by using the tip of the sword. The nearer you are to an object, emitting the aura in question, the stronger the response will be. This response manifests itself through vibration and sound. Vision of the future. Gosh, motion controls. Okay, there we go. But we have to get something. Should probably just jump off here. And I'll probably get it. Only one heart, really? Okay, let's speed this up. I was, uh, thought I would get a heart dousing. I know you can get it. Maybe she just doesn't give it to you right here if you're low on heart. But I know you can get one. Oh, well, I guess I just brought myself down to one heart for absolutely no reason then. There must have been. And no one who's played this game before them must have been so. What? Oh, I almost died there. Because I did not know. I can't look up. I want to look up. Ah, oh, shoot, I accidentally pulled my shield. I want to look up, but I can't. Struggle is real. Okay, here we go. We're back up here. Check this grass, see if we get anything. And this is, okay, there we go. This game is being Breath of the Wild for a while. Check out this cool door. Latest technology door. What's a Zelda in this ancient technology? It's the opposite. It has ancient technology instead of... And they lose their technology. Like, the, the, the time goes on.
Ah, the traveler descended from the clouds above. I welcome you, child of fate. Tell me, what is your name? Rito? Ah, oh, Rito. Good, very good. I sense you have already gained control over the sacred power that fills your sword when pointed skyward. The skyward strike is yours to command. It is proof that you are fit to bear the blade you carry, the goddess sword. I have sat here for many years waiting for you to arrive, all so that I can fulfill my purpose as your guide. You stand under the roof of the sealed temple, a place built by the goddess an eternity ago. Your arrival here was predestined many, many years ago. The spirit maiden you seek arrived here shortly before you, descending to this land in a shower of light. There's no doubting it, the gears of fate has be have begun to turn. Yet all is not as it should be. The spirit maiden was not meant to reach this land in the manner she did. I feel an evil power working in the shadows. It moves toward the destiny of which you two are a part. Mm -hmm. Rito, you are concerned for the spirit maiden and seek her whereabouts, yes? That is understandable, but for now you must focus on moving upward. That girl has her own purpose now, she must pursue, as you do. She set out for Farron Woods to discover the destiny for herself, and you must follow. Show me your map. Show me your map! <laughs> The X upon your map marks the path leading you to Farron Woods. You will be traveling in unfamiliar land. Many monsters have settled here, and a map may not prove guidance enough for your journey. And so I will give you the power to create beacons. When a beacon is marked on your map, a col column of light will stand at that location. It will act as your waypoint from afar. Point at the at red X and C press C to place a beacon. I remember having problems with this because my hand is not very steady. Is that good enough? Though ah. you cannot see it from where we are, the beacon stands outside to guide you. Leave the temple to the front door and see for yourself. When you no longer have a use for the beacon, you can remove it by the pressing C. Use your beacons well, and you'll never fear getting lost. On your way out, take the contents of the treasure chest mm. in this room. You just open that door. She just opened that door. Sorry, it's a girl. You know that all the questions you have now will be answered in time. For now, Rita, go bravely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, this is the treasure chest you was talking about. It has the revitalizing potion in it. You got some revitalizing potion. I swear I haven't played this game in three years. I don't know how I remember this stuff. <laughs> Please give me some hearts. These random person's house. <laughs> Rupee, okay, that's not necessarily the thing I wanted. Oh, stole here. I can sit and regain my health. Dot dot dot. That was easy. And anyway, that's it for this episode. So goodbye, everyone.